Chris, you had an MVP ballot. I had an official vote, yep. Did LeBron deserve to be a finalist? No, this word finalist is interesting. This is new with the NBA MVP <laughs> vote. Because typically you just, there's five names on the ballot or five spots and you vote for your five and then the winner is announced in the order. But I guess because of the award show. Want to build it now, up. Yeah, they're building it up. It's not like they're just inviting these three to the show. They, invite, they invited all the players. But now they're saying the top three are the finals. And on my ballot, he was not top three. I voted for LeBron preseason, or not voted, but he was my preseason pick for MVP. But as the objective voice of Undisputed, I had to be objective uh, and keep uh, it real. You mean the objective <laughs> LeBron lover. Yeah. yeah. Well, hold on. My fifth place was Isaiah Thomas. Fourth place was LeBron. Third place was Kawhi. Second, Harden. And Westbrook was my MVP. And here's why. Again, it's a regular season award. We know what Westbrook did. Historic achievement. James Harden. GMs picked him to finish eighth in the West. He leads them to the third seed, 55 wins, and great numbers himself. Yep. And then Kawhi, one all-star in San Antonio, three in Cleveland. Kawhi's team wins 10 more games than Cleveland did, than LeBron's team. So I gave Kawhi the nod over LeBron. Look, the, the playoffs are proving that the Cavs coasted during the regular season. And because they coasted, they underachieved. And you can't get the MVP award, in my opinion, if your team underachieves pretty badly. They could have won 60-something games easily mm -hmm. in the East. So, Shannon, you're now in the precarious position of having to respond to another LeBron lover. Is that fair to say? X. He's an ex, ex. He's ex yeah. who just gave you the objective analysis that LeBron deserved fourth. He would be fourth on my ballot. When I, but you look at it like that. You wouldn't that. have him winning either, right? No, no, no. Okay. I, 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 well, I would have put him to win, but just just cause. <laughs> just cause. Because <laughs> he sleeps on a LeBron sheet. <laughs> Will you stop bringing up old well, stuff? Old stuff. It's new stuff. It's what you did last night. No, I didn't. Huh? I put the pillow I'm in the closet. I'm trying to get that picture out of my mind. I put so. the wait, wait a minute. Yeah, you got I'm mad at LeBron last night? Yeah, I had to put the pillow up. When they lose, you sleep on the regular sheets? Yep. That's punishment. You turn it over. No, I had to put <laughs> the pillow in the closet. I didn't want to look at it. I was upset. <laughs> you know, here's the thing, though. When you, you keep you said um, the, uh, the Cavaliers coasted and and Kawhi, but all across the number, all across the board, his numbers were better than Kawhi. And when Kawhi didn't play, they both missed eight games. The Spurs were seven and one. The Cavs were zero and eight. They're four and nineteen since he's returned. So in three years, when LeBron doesn't play, they're four and nineteen. His value should be unquestioned. And it just goes to show you, even though Tristan Thompson was eighteen and thirteen, Kevin Love had twenty eight, Kyrie had twenty nine, they lost because that guy. Yep. Now, if one of the, if LeBron has that Kevin Love 28, it's not even close. But that just goes to show you his value to the team. This is like Meryl Streep. She's been nominated 20 times for the Oscar. All right, let's go on and give it to Brie Larson. Oh, let's go give it to uh, 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 Charlize Theron. Let's go ahead and give it. <laughs> no! Hillary Swank. No! Give it to Meryl. She deserved it. Get this man his due. This is the Michael Jordan syndrome. This is the same thing that... That happened I, to him. The, Wayne Gretzky and the Hart Trophy. It's just like... Nine times in a row, isn't that enough, Skip? I mean, how many how many awards should we give him? Let somebody else win. See, if he is the, and I don't want to take your time, Skip, but he he's he's the best player in the world. I think we all agree. I think Skip even agrees. Stop and, shaking your head, Skip. You agree. But if you you don't just give it, we didn't just give it to Michael Jordan when he was <laughs> the best player for the first or for about nine or ten years straight. And so to do it for LeBron, I think would be wouldn't be right. Mm. LeBron's regular season performance did not deserve top three in MVP. I'm sorry, his team won 51 games because his team backslid. The, the last 46 games of the regular season, they went 23 and 23, playing mostly an Eastern Conference schedule. That's pathetic, yeah. given the fact you had three All-Stars on your team. Kawhi had only Kawhi. Obviously, James had only James, and Russell had only Russell on their teams. And you keep bringing up this stat about, look what the Spurs did without Kawhi. And again, I'm not going to go chapter and verse, but I dare anybody out there to call up those games right now and look what happened because there's not one impressive win in there that you'd say, oh, wow, look what the Spurs did without Kawhi. They were beating Phoenix at home, Sacramento at home, 
Portland without Damian Lillard, Toronto without DeMar DeRozan. I could go on and on. There's not one impressive win where you say, wow, look what they did. Because look what they're not doing right now. <laughs> After Kawhi went down, 7.53 left in the third quarter of game number one, and they were up 22, 23 points at that 78-55. to 55. Mm -hmm. And it has been a nightmare. It has been a disaster. I'm dreading beyond dread watching this game tonight, just as I tweeted before the game on yeah, Saturday man. night. I'm dreading You're going to win, Skip. Gonna, he's he's have saying some we're going to win tonight. And I, I have what? no idea he's how. going your way. Why you won't have faith? He's just trolling. Why do you have faith? We, we, we even lost David you did Lee. Beat Houston. David Lee, but that was all about James Harden's meltdown. That, that's all that was. Listen, that, that, Golden State has four All Stars, and if one guy's not four clicking, four All NBA you know, players. Uh, come on. <laughs> I mean, if one guy's not clicking, the other guy will, and this guy'll be clicking, and that guy's. I, it, it's you it's need a disaster. A, you need a game one or game two from Lamarcus Aldridge, like he gave you in last year's playoffs. He gives you one of those 35, one of those 40-point ball okay. games. But, Skip, he can't let Draymond push him off the block. It's just pathetic to watch. And I can't watch it. And they talk about, well, he's getting triple team. I say, Draymond and Green, aren't, they're the same person. <laughs> well, LaMarcus isn't that guy, and he never was. He's a trailblazer at heart. And, I, look, I... He's not a spur. He's not a go-to guy. He's not a takeover guy. If if you had a takeover guy, they could have won one of these games. They they could have won game one. What they would have held what, on. There's a difference though, Skip, because in, in Portland, he's playing to be on the All Star team. You go to you You're go to, playing in the shadows. This is in the you spotlight. go to San Antonio. No. They're no. playing for championships. No. So if he if he falters trying to make an All Star team, nobody pays it any attention. No. Because how many times was Lamarcus Aldridge on television? But now he's in the playoffs every year. So now the light's going to be even brighter and you get an opportunity to see what he isn't. If that he is was the man, he would be living for this moment. You yes. want Kawhi there, but if, if your best player isn't there, he then shrinks. you step up and say, I'm going to show everybody I, what I'm about. This ain't just Kawhi. He, he was playing well with Kawhi. Well, so that just goes to show you. They would have had more focus on Kawhi than you. Okay, and I'm going to go to my grave saying this. My Spurs would have won this series if Kawhi Leonard were healthy. They would have won game one. I believe they'd had a free shot in game two, and I would have liked their chances in game two because they play great in that building. They love it there. They don't play as great at home, but I would have given them a real shot I'm to win this series. I'm not even sure they would have won game one. Oh, they won you game know one. the With Warriors Kawhi were, Leonard? It was going to be close. Oh, it the was The Warriors not were going to make close. a run. They couldn't stop Kawhi, Kawhi was on the court the entire game in the regular season when they were up by 22 and lost by 12. Well, he was there on opening night when they won by 29 that in that building. That was opening night. The, they didn't even know each you other. Shannon thinks they're going to win tonight, right? Other. You go to the prom? You go to the prom? Going to the prom? Did you go to the prom in high school? Yes. That's the only time closeness matter. When you dance. No, it was going to be close. And then Kawhi at best. It only has to matter at the prom? Yeah, prom and throwing grenades. That's the only time closeness matters at the prom. Why not every Friday and Saturday night? <laughs>